So, Mark, I'm one of those mean parents who won't let her kids play computer games six hours a day. How about you? My daughter is still pretty young, but I know that when she gets old enough to use the computer, I want to set some limits. Hi, I'm Juliette Gilbert. And I'm Mark Carpenter. We're writers on the Windows team at Microsoft. We'll show you how parental controls can help with these concerns about kids and computers. With parental controls, you can set limits on the hours your children can use the computer. You can also control which games they can play and which programs they can use. And if you add Windows Live Family Safety or another service, you can keep tabs on what your kids do online. Let's take a look at how to set up and use parental controls. To use parental controls, you'll need a password-protected administrator account for you, the parent, and a standard account for each child. If you don't have an account set up for your child, you can create one right here. My daughter Lillian is seven. The first thing I want to do is limit the amount of time she can spend on the computer. The great thing about time limits in Windows Parental Controls is that you can set different hours for each day of the week. That way you can let Lillian stay up a little later on weekends. I'll start by opening Parental Controls. Now I'll select Lillian's account and turn them on. Here I can select which things I want to control, time limits, games, and programs. I'm going to click Time Limits. Then I can click and drag to block out the days and times when she can't use the computer. Now, if Lillian tries to log on at a time when she's not allowed to use the computer, she sees this screen. Lillian is already exploring the online world, so I'd love to be able to keep tabs on the websites she visits, too. You can do that with Windows Live Family Safety, a separate program that comes installed on many PCs. If it's not already on your PC, you can download it from the Windows Live website. To get started with Windows Live Family Safety, first open Parental Controls. Make sure Windows Live Family Safety is selected under Additional Controls. If you don't see it, then Family Safety isn't installed. You'll need a Windows Live ID to sign in and set it up. Click the accounts you want to monitor. By default, Windows Live Family Safety turns on basic web filtering and activity reporting. You can also go to the Family Safety website to customize monitoring for each child. Let's customize the web filtering settings for Lillian. Basic filtering is a good option for her, but I'd like to block some specific websites as well. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've blocked the Microsoft website. In reality, of course, this site is perfectly safe. Now let's see what happens when Lillian tries to go to a website I've blocked. Lillian logs onto Windows, then she opens Internet Explorer and goes to the Microsoft website. The site is blocked but Lillian can ask for permission to go there, and then I can decide whether or not to let her. You can do a lot more with Windows Live Family Safety, like getting web-based reports of what your kids do on the computer. That includes not only their online activities, but also programs they've used, and how much time they've spent on their PC. I have to say, as a parent, I really appreciate the peace of mind I get from parental controls in Windows Live Family Safety. If you want to learn more about all the things you can do with parental controls and Windows Live Family Safety, check out the Windows website.